Now, I am hoping you guys hear this. Damn, I'm already tired. That's not good. Yay, Claire Redfield. Holy crap, that was loud. I, I apologize for this. <laughs> I'm hoping that it's that, that uh, you can hear me for once over the over the game. <laughs> we have game audio too, yes. For once. So, not exactly the best music in the world, but it's an okay game. So, this is Resident Evil Code uh, Gun Survivor 2 Code Veronica. For those of you who may have played uh, Resident Evil Survivor on the original PlayStation, this was, I think, after the PlayStation 2 hit the market. Survivor was their attempt at porting Gun Survivor to the United States. Which, it was fully compatible with the, with the PlayStation Gun Con. However, there's a problem. And not just the fact that the nerd did not know about this. <laughs> uh, a little, a, a little uh, event happened that prevented this game prevented survivor from being used to its full full extremities a little something called columbine happened and suddenly uh toy manufacturers were getting very very paranoid about the idea of kids having anything that looked like a gun so even teenagers so they removed capcom removed the functionality for the gun con and Resident Evil Survivor became an unplayable pile of shit. Granted, you could still beat the game normally, but gosh, if it didn't feel like an unplayable mess. Fast forward a couple of years later, we now have Gun Survivor 2, which was originally in the arcades. This, is, this, this was an arcade port, oddly enough. And this time around, the game was compatible with the Gun Con 2. With, with the Gun Con... Yeah, yeah, the PS2 equivalent of the Gun Con. Just one problem. This game never made it to the States. This is a European exclusive. At least in terms of English uh, speaking dial dialect, dialogue, however you want to go about it. Now what we're going to be doing here is the dungeon mode, which is a, I guess it's kind of a roguelike. The whole objective is to get from the top floor to the bottom and reach the boss. It's just a matter of finding the boss that presents the problem. And while this game is compatible with the Gun Con 2, I don't have such an accessory attached to this computer. Probably best that I don't use it anyway. Now, I recommend I recommend for the button settings if you if you want to play this game like a true first-person shooter, I recommend either type E or type F because that way you can use the second D, the second analog stick to turn, you know, like a first-person shooter. 
And here's something I don't understand at all. You will notice that the L1 and R1 buttons are for shooting the weapon and L2 and R2 are for changing weapon. But for those of you who have actually placed your finger uh, placed your finger on the the triggers, your your uh, your index fingers in a relaxed state, they tend to drift over to the the shoulder buttons, the 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 shoulder triggers. Keeping them on the ones is rather difficult. You want them in a relaxed state so that that way it doesn't strain your finger all that much when you when you eventually fire. You especially don't want to change weapons when you actually want to shoot your guns. You know, kind of like in a first-person shooter, like Halo, GoldenEye, Perfect Dark, Time Splitters. Now the rest of the of, of the the layout is pretty good. Although uh, I I personally recommend Type E, but there's also Type F, which changes the which changes the circle button to also change weapon even though you still have the change weapon options for the shoulder buttons anyway let's go ahead and start this mount this uh this madness Resident evil, evil. Since I already finished mission one, it's it says complete. But you know what? Let's go ahead and do mission one again. Fuck it. So I have the option of playing as either Claire Redfield or or Steve Burnside. I'm going to go ahead and stick with Claire, because because why not? I never really cared too much for Steve, because he just seemed like a whiny emo bitch. Plus, I'm, plus I'm sorry to say this, but the Canadian accent kind of threw me off. Unfortunately, in this uh, in this first-person shooter, you do not have the option of aiming up or down. Kind of feels like I'm playing Doom again. I guess that was it for that. Criticalis!
Okay, I came from there. I need to go through here. By the way, there is no map, so uh, unless you have a g good sense of direction, it's probably best to just focus on the compass. Check those corners. So many doors! Like, are you dead yet? Actually, who am I kidding? They're already dead. Shoot the targets! Flashbang to the door! I know there's a there's a ladder going down, but screw it. I must I must see what else is here. Yeah, I'm like, can I go back to my handgun, please?
So I spent a couple extra seconds, and it, I, I think it's going to help, because I didn't even know about the side pack. All right, time to go. Time to go down. Go down, down, down. That is a lot of lot of roaches. So, two possible paths. I'm guessing it's this one. Gee, what could be back there? You know, I should probably go back and see what I missed. I think, I think, I think. Nope. Didn't miss anything. Nothing at all. Yeah, yeah, has extra shoot gun. <sighs> yeah, get used to all the moaning. Ah, so that's what I couldn't carry.
Also, that's the way down. I don't want to go down just yet. I want to, uh, want to grab some more goodies. Music fading out for once. What could this mean? A safe room with weapons galore. a lot of uh, rocket launchers. A lot of very unnecessary rocket launchers, I might add. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to I'm going to waste one. If any, just so I can pick up the bow gun and start collecting ammo for it. Now, I know I'm probably alone on this, but honestly and truly, I would love to see a proper Resident Evil game done in this style. I mean, you have two analog sticks, why not? Didn't even know it was there. All this time I could have been shooting candles. What's wrong with me? Um, ow. That, uh, that hurt. I 
Not gonna lie, that hurt. I figured at least one of them would get up. appears to be everything there. Wow, that was fast. Thirteen minutes, not bad. After all that, I got an E. E for everyone. Yay, mission clear. Yay, a one handgun bullet.
Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to put the missile launcher away. I don't think I'm going to need it. So this time around, I'm just here to retrieve jewels. See what this brings. Well, it's nice to know that there is a with those ammo behind the door. You know, I'm not seeing any jewels, so, uh...
Well, it's something, I guess. Of course, now I need to go back and go the other way. If I remember right, I think there was one spider in here. Might be two. A rocket launcher when you absolutely need to step on a spider. So I only found one jewel so far. Yeah, that was kind of overkill. So clearly the zombie has hit detection, but he wasn't moving. How you doing, man? Okay. Okay. That's good. So, yeah, I finally got the damn thing up and running to where people can hear me and... Yeah. I figure what better way to test this thing out than with uh, with a shitty Resident Evil game. <laughs> so I think it's been that kind of day. Yep. I see.
so I did what I could in recording a recording the last chapter of a vlog that I've been using to document the building of this computer including the big snafu that happened last month and uh Yeah, one of the things I mentioned was that I, I don't know how well Parsec runs. And I figure that we'll just have to get the band back together just to see if it runs. So which I have to ask, are you available on Wednesday night? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Yeah, so I'm thinking maybe we could do like the like a run of the one of the Parodius games that has two players simultaneous. I figure, hey, it'd be a lot of fun. Sounds it. It definitely sounds it. Now, as long as they're decayed corpses of dogs, I'm not, I'm hoping that there's no problems with uh, shooting them. Can't think I said any reason why it'd be bad. Okay, I was about to say, I sensed, obje I sensed objection in your silence. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Do you not want me to shoot the doggies? No, I was in the wrong button. Ah, it happens. Come on. I just want an ordinary weapon for this. I don't want to have to go overkill. <laughs> I mean for fuck's sake, it's just a liquor. I don't I don't need the rocket launcher or the grenade launcher for this. <laughs> uh Frankenstein's back, I had to fix a sandwich. For some reason insomnia makes my programming not suck and my digital drawing skills service serviceable I see Shooty, 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 shooty. Shoot, shoot. Shoot everything that moves. Everything that moves and moves. Yeah. 
So evidently there's two two problems still going on with this thing and one is the fact that my PS4 controller will not work with uh, Ubisoft games. The other being that I have to uh, I had to divorce myself from voice meter because I can't get the audio to not bleed into Discord. And all I want to do is just get it to get the audio to go to my I want it to go to my two headsets as well as my TV. And it was doing that with the previous motherboard. But not this one for some reason. It isn't one thing, it's another. Yep. I figure I'll fit I'll be able to figure out sooner or later, but fuck if it isn't frustrating. You know, one would think a spider could survive, would not survive without its ass. I am definitely learning a lot more about spider anatomy these days. Okay, so this door is another side door. Alright, so I got some spare shoot gun ammo. You know what? Sure, I'll use a grenade launcher against the boss. Am I fighting the boss? Sounds like it. My, that was fast. <laughs> Still a rank E. Yay, at least I finished it. That's all that matters, right? Fun little fact here. Did you know this used to be a coin-op?
unfortunately, Gun Survivor 3 never made it to a console. Might be for the best, seeing as how it was the very unpopular Dino Crisis. Although, personally, I would have, I would have actually enjoyed playing uh, Capcom's version of what the Lost World would have been like. I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Um, <clears throat> well, the the playthrough of that that is, I'll probably play something else before I get before I call for the night. But uh, gosh, where was my head at? <clears throat> 